why do you think that people in Azerbaijan do not have free media and opposition? Because this is what I'm told by independent sources in this country. Which independent sources? Many independent sources. <laughs> Tell me which. I certainly couldn't name sources. Oh, if you couldn't name, that means yeah. that you're just inventing the story. So you're saying the media is not under state control? Not at all. And there is a vibrant free opposition media? Where of course. Where, where do I see this? You can see it in the internet. You can see it everywhere. But not in newspapers. Why? You can see it in newspapers. Whom do you call opposition here? Can I ask you? Well, is there allowed to be an opposition here? Yeah, it is allowed, of course. I mean, NGOs are the subject of a crackdown. Journalists no. are the subject of a crackdown. Not at all. Critics are in jail. No, not at all. None of this is true. Absolutely fake. Absolutely. We have free media. We have free internet. Now, due to the martial law, we have some restrictions. But before, there have been no restrictions. And the number of uh, internet users in Azerbaijan is uh, more than 80 percent. Can you imagine the restriction of media in a country where internet is free, there is no censorship, and there are 80 percent of internet users? We have millions of people on Facebook. How can you say that we don't have free media? This is, a, again, a biased approach. This is an attempt to create a perception in Western audience about Azerbaijan. We have opposition. We have NGOs. We have uh, free political activity. We have free media, we have uh, freedom of speech. But if you raise this question, can I ask you also one? How do you uh, assess what happened to Mr. Assange? Is it a reflection of free media in your country? We're not here to discuss no, my let's country. Discuss. No, let's discuss. No, President In order Ali to accuse me, saying that Armenians will not have free uh, media here, let's talk about Assange. How many years, sorry, how many years he spent in Ecuadorian embassy? And for what? And where is he now? For journalistic activity. You kept that person hostage, actually killing him morally and physically. You did it, not us, and now he's in prison. So you have no moral right to talk about free media when you do these things. Returning to the conflict, how Yeah, better return to the conflict, because this is not what you like. You like only to accuse.